Ooh, hello there, my fellow. My name is Crafters of Times with Scar here, and welcome back to Scar World and our creative house building project, the Small House. In today's episode, we are going to work on a super awesome garage with garage doors and all sorts of other great stuff. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scar World here in our creative house building. And as you can see, we've got our landscaping all built up and ready to go in our last episode, and it's looking pretty good. As you can see, we've got our retaining walls and our plants and bushes and all sorts of stuff, and our lawn, of course. With A and B, we chose between the, you know, the striped and the more kind of smoothed out modern feel to it. And the current version, A, the striped version is winning out so far, but it's very, very close. So that's why... I'm going to kind of keep an eye on the comments today, see what your guys' thoughts are, and continue to monitor the comments in the last video to see, um, you know, if it changes at all. But it's very close, but I'm going to keep it at this for now. But we have lots of work to do today, so we're going to fly on over here and get some supplies all set up and ready to go. So we're just going to grab out some of our standard materials here. There we go. And let's see. What I think I'm actually going to remove, I'm going to remove this block because we do need some glass. There we go. And that leads me to my question for you guys today. Why don't we in Minecraft incorporate the zero key in our hotbar like Ark Survival, the game we're playing with the dinosaurs and all that good stuff? So I'm playing that game and I'm realizing, hey, they incorporate the zero key. Why isn't that not incorporated into the Minecraft hotbar? So down below, as you can see, our hotbar is full, but it would incorporate the zero key, which would give us another spot in our hotbar. Why is that not a thing? Anyway, we're at the back side of the house right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to count out one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to place a block right there, as you can see. And then we're going to go. So this is one and this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wonderful. All right. So now from this 19 block here, we're going to go, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Beautiful. And then we're just going to double check to make sure that lines up all symmetrical and perfect. Awesome. All right. So this block right here represents one block. So we're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is the height of the building. Okay. And then we're going to count this as one, two, three, four. Okay. And then we'll just fill in this part here with some nice milk chocolate. There we go. Looking good, looking good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this as a sneaky um, temporary block. I'm going to place that right there and then go two, three, four. So that's four blocks across there. And then I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to sneak back over here with a sneaky block like so. And I'm going to count that's three. Okay. And then we're going to bring this up in line with the other set. And as you can see, I'm not working on the garage door yet. We're going to work on that in just a minute and bring it up to the appropriate height. But we're trying something real quick by getting these walls assembled first. Okay. So now this is one, two, three, four. And there we go. Looking good. All right. There we go. And that's a spacing of four. So one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four for the garages. Looking good, okay. So now we're just gonna bring this all the way up to seven blocks. There we go, and now we can get a little bit more creative with our design. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to go, let's see, one, two, three, I think I'm gonna go to four. I'm gonna go to four, and then we'll kinda go from there. So I'm gonna cut into here like so, and that will allow us to have a little window into the garage. Now, I think I'm gonna do this with the stairs, or not stairs, but I mean panes. Panes just allow a little bit more depth, of course. There we go, looking good. And anywhere in Minecraft where we could add a little bit more depth to the design, I will take that opportunity. All right, so I'm gonna add just a little stairs on the top there like so. There we go, that's looking nice. Okay, now I'm thinking about, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about adding some stairs on the bottom here, just a little bit too, just a little bit too. I think that'll look really nice. Okay, good. All right, so the next phase of our build here is to, let's see, let me grab out a half slab like so, and I'm going to go across here like this. Yes, that'll look great. So I'm gonna go across there like that. So that's just on the very top there. So that is one, two, three, four, and then half slab on that fifth block like so. And I'm gonna bring that all the way around. Looking good, looking good. All right, so next phase here, we're gonna take out this block right here. I'm going to do something like this. So we're going to bring this across here. There we go. Bring that across like that. There we go. Bring that across here. Cut that in there. Okay, good. Got that level in ready. All right. And then we're going to take out another set of 
dark or milk chocolate. And we're gonna bring that off the top like this. There we go. Cut that in like that. All right. So you might be, might be noticing there are a couple little inconsistencies here. So we're gonna fix those up. We're gonna fix those up. So hold tight, hold tight. Next phase here, I'm actually gonna grab that and I'm gonna bring this along here. There we go. And bring that across there like so. All right, good, good, good. So what I'm considering is adding a window, a window back here, but I don't know if I like that or not. I'm kind of going back and forth that might not be the best design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna cut that out like that. There we go, cut that out. There we go, cut all that out of there, okay. I don't know, I was trying to go back and forth if that would actually work, but I just don't think that's gonna be a cool design. You know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, you get you get an idea in your head and when you see it actually implemented, it's just always not that great, but what the best thing you can do is not let it get you down, not let it uh, give you fear that you can't do something, that you're able to come back and succeed and move on, move on. That's the key is move on, see, oh, wait, that doesn't look good. But I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. I'm not gonna let that get me down. I'm not gonna let that get me down at all. All right, that is that's looking good. I like that. I think there's some areas where we could add a little bit more detail. But give me one second. Let me kind of catch my breath, and I will be right back. All right, and welcome back. And as you can see, look at how the garage really makes the smart house really come together. Really adds a little extra anchor point on that back side to kind of smooth out the area. Now, of course, right over here, we're going to do a really cool landscaping, and we're going to do a little driveway and all sorts of great stuff. But uh, let's fly over here now kind of going back and forth on this design that we talked about up here. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this, I'm gonna run this along here, not do that window back there for now. Maybe you guys might like it or not, but I'm not sure, we'll see, we'll see. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. So what we could do is take this out, and let me see if I can just fit it back here. Let me get back here a little bit, there we go, looking good. All right, I'm gonna stick that right to there, and if I can connect it. So we could do something like that, like a window back there, but I don't know. Not sure, it might be a little much. I might wanna keep things a little more simple over here just because you know we want it to look nice, but it's just a simple garage. So um, I don't think we wanted to get too crazy along there. All right, so now we wanna do is bring this design all the way across here. And I would like to do some skylights on the top because I think that'll look really nice for the interior. Keep things all light and bright in the interior of the garage. There we go. Because you know, we seem to be always working on something in a garage and it's always dark. Like garages are like notoriously poorly lit. Um, I think if we had some awesome skylights above and especially in the day, of course, we would have lots of awesome natural light for building and tinkering and all sorts of good stuff in our garage. Now, as you guys know, my garage philosophy in Minecraft is a little bit different. We don't have cars in Minecraft. Our only transportation within the world of Minecraft, of course, is horses. So we put horses in our garages. Our garages are horse garages. There are mini stables. Um, we've done that in our modern house just around the corner over there, as you can see, just hiding behind those trees. Um, and you guys seem to like it. You thought it was kind of a goofy but fun idea. And, uh, you know, I like to make little vehicles and stuff in Minecraft. I'm actually kind of poor at it, but I do enjoy kind of doing that. But when I build these, I like to try to make it look like somebody's really living here, somebody within the Minecraft world. You know, they have all the little gizmos and different things that uh, somebody would use in Minecraft. And I like to incorporate those into the build. And I want to make it as real, you know, as real as possible. And I think that uh, if somebody really was living in this house in a Minecraft sense, they would have horses in the garage because that's how they would get around. So when we work on the interior of the garage, we're gonna have horses. We're gonna have like a little mini stable set up along with all sorts of other fun and exciting little decorations. And there we go, looking good, looking good. Nice, I like that, I like that quite a bit. All right, so next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna sneak on back over here and now we're going to lay out the roof line here and then we're going to insert our skylight. So give me one second here, let me fill in all of this and let me know what you think of those horses. Let me know what you think of the horse idea, if that's crazy or kind of makes sense. Let me know, I wanna know what your thoughts are in the comments. All right, I'll see you in just one second. All right, and welcome back, and there we go. Look at the garage, looking awesome now that we got a roof line all assembled and ready to go. So now we gotta jump over here, and this is where we wanna add our skylights. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna grab out our standard block here. And what I'm gonna do here is try to figure out how I want to arrange this. 
So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up like this. So sneaky block down below and cut that out like so and bring this up here. I kind of want this to stick up just to give the roof line just a little bit more definition. So as you can see, I just wanna get a basic shape going. So what we've done is we've lined up with these two windows like so. We've gone up to the top here, right across here, we've counted two blocks and then placed those along there. Now, of course, we put the roof line on the seventh block going up. So then we'll bring this piece all the way across here, removing these sections in the center like so. There we go. And then I cut that piece out. And I think we're going to cut that in so we have two spaces like so. And then we'll fly on over here, of course, sneaky block. There we go, place that along there and cut this in there. I think this will look really cool. We'll just have a little extra light in here. Everything will be quite a bit brighter in the interior. And I have some fun ideas for the decorations on the interior. It's always fun to think of like, so, Minecrafter lives here. There's holidays, there's Halloween, there's Christmas. He might have a hobby. The, you know, it's all sorts of different things like that when you think of uh, who might live in the house. Um, do they, you know, like holidays and different things. So they would store their, you know, Christmas decorations or Halloween things inside there and you can get kind of creative with that. Okay, good. So now what we can do here is we can run this along here like so. There we go. And then we'll cut that in there like that. Cool, 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 cool. There we go and bring that across here. I've always tried to find some really cool ways of doing Christmas decorations on a house. I've always wanted to do an overlay for Christmas or Halloween to one of our creative house building series. We should do that this year. Just like uh, we go through here and we add like, pumpkins and some spooky things and maybe for Christmas we can find some ways of adding some Christmas lights or Christmas trees inside of some of the houses. I think that might be fun. I think that might be a fun new series for the uh when the holidays come around so definitely let me know is that something you guys would like to see is maybe like a, a holiday themed um overlays to our houses that might be kind of cool different little overlays for different particular styled houses and stuff i think that might be kind of fun i think i'm going to start to kind of plan and create that if that's something you guys want to see of course because you know i make videos for you guys to watch i want to always make sure that there's something that you're excited about and you're looking forward to watching so I'm just gonna add some half slabs here and then that's just going to give this area just a little bit more definition. I kind of like having it just stick up just a little bit instead of having the two steps going up like that. I think that's a little bit cleaner design. Um, we might add some extra little lights up here so it you know, kind of lights up the top of the roof, but I don't know, we'll see. I would like to add some solar panels to this house. I think that might be kind of nice to kind of mix up the design on the main roof by adding some solar panels. Um, so I guess we could work with the actual solar panel that we do have in Minecraft, or we could get a little more creative and try to make one of our own. There we go. You know, of course it wouldn't have any function, but it would just look like something like that. And there we go. And there we go, looking super fancy. We've got ourselves what is starting to look like a super awesome garage. That is really cool. Clean that up a little bit. And we've got our little windows in there looking all so fancy. Now let's head on the interior here. And we've got lots and lots of room here. So let's just open up like a little doorway here. So let's cut into here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So a space of five between that wall. And then we'll come into here. There we go. We'll do it, we'll do it about one, two, three. We'll do it about four. We'll do it about four. There we go. So there's a little door going inside. And there we go, my friends. There we go. We've got ourselves a garage all laid out and ready to go for our s'more house. And look at that. Things are starting to come together. We finally have something that looks like a house, something that we could actually maybe envision living in. And well, guys, that's always a pleasure to make you videos today. And if you believe the videos are rating, that would make a my day. So until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And we'll... See you later. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Teen. Okay. So we're going to bring this all the way out to here. And where are you? There you are. There's my little marker. So I put that down there just to mark out the location. Now you might be noticing that the roadway is gone. Now I did have a roadway, but I never really liked